Let me take you on a ride with Noe. First, we're going to take a look at the data engineering layer, how you can create data models across data sources without having to move the raw data. Then we'll segue into the business user use cases, how they can create dashboards from the data models, how they can ask questions in plain English, and show you some cool things along the way. On the uh, data engineering section of the product, we help you connect into a variety of data sources, from SQL databases to NoSQL databases to uh, APIs and cloud services. And this area is primarily targeted towards people who know what they're doing on the data engineering side of things. It needs that power and sophistication since data use cases can be inherently complex. So in this example, I'm connecting into two databases, one MongoDB, another, another MySQL database. I've defined queries across both. I can either write those queries directly or use our Visual Builder to create them. And the end result is a joined result set across both of those databases using a key across them. And then you can add calculated fields and transform it further any step of the way. Now on this end result, you have three options. You can set it to be real time against the database or two, you can store the results directly into Noe and have incremental updates on it. Or number three, you can write it into your own data warehouse like Snowflake or Redshift. Once you save it, this data set is where all the magic happens. So on the one hand, it abstracts all the complexity of the underlying data. And on the other hand, it provides security governance and it's reusable. So once you've created this, you can reuse and inherit this. So you don't have to repeat yourself every time. And it's also ready for business users to use. So to summarize it, we didn't have to move the raw data from different sources. We didn't have to use multiple tools to join data across data sources to transform them. And we have data immediately accessible and ready for the business user. Now let's have some fun with the business use cases. Say I want to create a view from this data to get sent volume by customer on a weekly basis. And as I'm thinking of those questions, you can type those in in plain English and bingo, I get the results I want, visualize it the way I want it. And now I have a view from that data set and I can go on creating more views from that data as I see fit without having to get data engineering involved. You can also drag and drop and create functions and so on right from the UI as well for more advanced use cases too. Now let's put this into a dashboard to create a simple dashboard with those in there, you can add filters and drill downs and there are about 40 different visualization types, uh, reports you can send periodically, best in class BI capabilities basically. If you want alerts or anomaly detection, you can set up an anomaly detection alert from the view we've just created. You can also take anything you've created in Noe and embed that as part of your applications, including dashboards, the search bar, even the queries and the widgets as well. I won't go into too much detail here, but you can also use Noe's machine learning workspace to create your own models and integrate your current data with the models you've created to derive a foresight from the data as well. If you use a collaboration tool like Slack or Microsoft Teams, we have tight integration with them. So not only can you send alerts and dashboards to it, you can also access any of your data right within Slack. For example, I can request the latest dashboard on demand from Slack ahead of a meeting. I can also ask questions against any of my data. For example, what is the average price for Tesla weekly since last year? And based on what I've typed in, it will go find the right data set based on the keywords. And on that data set, compute the average price for Tesla on a weekly basis since last year. I can also ask additional follow-up questions. For example, compare the average price for Tesla versus Amazon. So that's an intro into some of Noe's capabilities. There are more in-depth videos in our YouTube channel or on our docs pages. I appreciate you taking the time to watch this. Thank you very much.